It has been said that the person you will be in five years depends on the books you read and the people you surround yourself with today. The person you will become in the future depends on what you are feeding your mind today. So what are you feeding your mind? If you want an amazing life in the future, a life far beyond the life you are living now, you must commit to learning, growing, and evolving your existing mindset, expanding your consciousness into something greater. These five books are a must for anyone seeking that higher level consciousness, anyone seeking that elevated mindset. Number one, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Perhaps the first book you should pick up before any other is this masterpiece by Eckhart Tolle. If you're like most people, the power of now might make you realize how often you are living not in this moment, but in the self-inflicted stress stories going on in our minds. Eckhart says, All negativity is caused by an accumulation of psychological time and denial of the present. Unease, anxiety, tension, stress, worry, all forms of fear are caused by too much future and not enough presence. Guilt, regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness, and all forms of non-forgiveness are caused by too much past and not enough presence. Once you bring your mind back to this present moment, as guided by Eckhart, you will discover a sense of wonder like that you haven't experienced since a child. As you are living more consciously and being fully present in this moment, you will find your decisions to be better, your relationships will improve, and a sense of peace will return to your life. After all, you cannot be both fully present in this moment and stressed about the future at the same time. You cannot be both fully present in this moment and worrying about the past at the same time. He says, It is not uncommon for people to spend their whole life waiting to start living. Don't be one of those people. Read and learn from this amazing book and start living, living fully in each present moment. Number two, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This book is said to have created more millionaires than any other book in history, but more than being just a financial miracle read, it's also one of the original lessons on the power of our mind and the law of attraction. In Think and Grow Rich, you'll learn how to achieve anything you want in life, material or non-material. You'll learn from some of the greatest minds in the history of planet Earth and be guided step by step on how to achieve balance, happiness, and abundance in every area of your life. Napoleon Hill says, The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desire brings weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. You are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct, and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. Number three, ask and it is given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, Abraham Hicks. There is no desire that anyone holds for any other reason than that they believe they will feel better in the achievement of it. Whether it is a material object, a physical state of being, a relationship, a condition, or a circumstance, at the heart of every desire is the desire to feel good. And so the standard of success in life is not the things or the money, the standard of success is absolutely the amount of joy you feel. This is a passage from one of the greatest books ever written on the law of attraction, Ask and It Is Given. Discover how to manifest anything you want into your life and how everything you seek is simply a feeling away. Learn how to apply the most powerful law in the universe, the law of attraction, correctly in your life. Every thought vibrates. Every thought radiates a signal, and every thought attracts a matching signal back. Number four, The Power of Intention by Dr. Wayne Dyer. In this amazing read, the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer teaches us how the power of our intentions shapes our reality. Wayne teaches that intention is not just something we do, but an energy, something that when we tap into it, becomes a co-creator of our lives. He says, if we focus on what's ugly, 
we attract more ugliness into our thoughts and then into our emotions and ultimately into our lives. When you're connected to the power of intention, everywhere you go and everyone you meet is affected by you and the energy you radiate. As you become the power of intention, you'll see your dreams being fulfilled almost magically and you'll see yourself creating huge ripples in the energy fields of others by your presence and nothing more. Number five, A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Another transformative book from Eckhart Tolle. In this book, you'll discover the joy of just being, being alive on this earth in your human body. You'll learn that you are good enough and there is no need to compare yourself to anyone. You'll learn to let go of any fears or anxieties and start living with the real joy and peace that is already inside you. Eckhart teaches, the primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation, but your thoughts about it. He also teaches how we must accept each moment as if we had chosen it, saying, life will give you whatever experience is most helpful for the evolution of your consciousness. How do you know this is the experience you need? Because this is the experience you are having at this moment. Number six, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. The late Richard Carlson wrote this timeless book back in 1996 and the principles and lessons still ring true today. In this amazing life-changing book, you will learn in very simple terms how to not let the little things or big things of life stress you. You'll learn how to look at all of your so-called problems as teachers and how to live a more simple, balanced, stress-free, and joy-filled life. Yes, it is possible. Carlson says, something wonderful begins to happen with the simple realization that life, like an automobile, is driven from the inside out, not the other way around. As you focus more on becoming more peaceful with where you are, rather than focusing on where you would rather be, you begin to find peace right now in the present. Then, as you move around, try new things, and meet new people, you carry that sense of inner peace with you. It's absolutely true that wherever you go, there you are. One of the core teachings of the book is kindness, something this world needs more of. Choose to be kind over being right, and you'll be right every time. Number seven, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl. Man's Search for Meaning is a book written in 1946 by Viktor Frankl, who shares his experiences as an Auschwitz concentration camp inmate during World War II. Frankl describes how having a strong purpose in life and imagining things to feel positive about helped him survive when so many others perished. There's so much to take from this amazing book, so many lessons, so much perspective. Frankel says, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. He states, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves.